I know my webcam may be bad, but um, in this video I'm going to talk to people about the ones that changed my life in this community. Um, I'm halfway through um, a really good friend of mine, um, PMS Lundy's video um, of him possibly quitting YouTube. and. I did tell him in the comment section that I respect the decision. I really do. See, that's what I don't like about this webcam. But I respect his decision of, you know, if he has dreams that he should go for it. And that he is one of the people that changed my life. But I'm going to save the best for last, and that will be Lundy. Now, I guess I'm going to start off with phase trick shots. Now, he is a controversial man in my past, and I've done some controversial things with him in my past. But Trick Shots taught me that no matter what you do, there will be haters, and you have to learn to just keep going with what you love to do and put the haters aside. Now, the controversial thing of when I was in Phase PSN, I loved it. I loved being at a place that I worked hard for. I loved being in a, in a state where I used to be able to hit clips, and that's how I got up to that. And being in that, there was lots and hots. We're talking about hundreds and hundreds of haters. And that's when Trick Shots told me, if you love doing this, there will be haters. There's haters for everyone and everything. But you just have to learn how to put them aside. So, he's a... a, a re there, there's a reason why. Um, and, and he's changed my life. No, this is not some kind of YouTube video saying, oh, I'm quitting, and this is, you know, people that changed my life. No, no, not at all. This is just a video straight up saying the people that changed my life. And the community, the gaming community in general, was either competitive or sniping. Um, even way back before Trick Shots, um, Nade Shot and is the reason why I wanted to do competitive Call of Duty and... Because of him, I've had so many fun experiences, I've made my own team. Sure, it's came and go a bunch of times, but the point is, I went through almost three years now of competitive Call of Duty. During Ghost, I became semi-professional, which is something I did not expect to happen. Um, and the things I learned off of Nade Shot... Uh, like strats, um, positivity, um, the reasons why if you love doing what you're doing, keep doing it. Just like Trickshot said, uh, you know, those are things that Nate Shot has done for me. Now we're going to go up forward to, this is around the same time, uh, Refrax and Barza, but I'm going to go with, not Refrax, um, what's his name? I, I forgot. Well, he goes by Zequo now. Um, maybe it was Refrax. I'm thinking my friend Refrax. Yeah, okay, Refrax. Basically, as I was going through NOS, um, Barza was the only person in NOS that supported me the most in trying to get in NOS. I worked really hard on Black Ops 2 Model for 3 to get clips. Uh, I sent in three final submissions and I failed each time. Okay, I, don't, I don't like this webcam. Whatever. See? Look what it does. Stop it. Whatever. Continuing. Um, I failed three times and he still told me to keep trying. There's things you will fail in in life and you just have to keep trying and trying if you're so passionate about it. So that's the thing about Barza. Refrax. When it came up to me constantly failing for NOS, um, he put me in a team called PMS Practice Makes Sniping, and that is a video that's on my channel, um, saying I joined PMS, 
and during around this time I end up quitting sniping about two or three times and when I joined PMS it was I, I took it as an advantage to have a nice fresh restart of the sniping community starting off at a team you know being in a team giving me motivation and more of a reason to keep trying to hit clips and stay in the community and get up further in the ranks well probably it, not ranks but it's how I think of them um, I don't think as teams as teams um, for teams that I I was in and I felt very passionate about, very confident in. I didn't consider them just, just teams, I considered them family. And although I was in PMS for a week before I left and quitted sniping for a fourth time, within that week's time, I considered PMS to be my family. And the one person that supported me the most uh, on the struggle of clips because this is at the point in time where I started um, lowering the rate of clips I could hit. This is around the time where I can barely hit them now. And Lundy supported me throughout the whole time. He he wasn't one of those leaders that kept pressurizing like, oh, well, you need to hit one, at least one sooner you'll be kicked. No, he was extremely chill about it. Because um, even in the video that he recently uploaded, which I sent out halfway through at the beginning of this video, um, he said that, you know, he's a leader that doesn't tell his members to go for clips. That does not make him a bad leader because there's no reason why you should push them to get clips. And see, I hate this webcam. I hate it. He He's a leader that tells his teammates that, sure, you have to hit clips, but there's no due date. There's no, um, you have to hit by this. Uh, it's not a mandatory thing he tells his teammates to play the game have fun um, you hit clips you hit clips that's good for you the most important thing about being in PMS is, is to have fun and I'm currently trying to get back in PMS because you know like I said it's my family and Lundy last but not least he he changed my life the biggest out of all the others because with the struggle of me not being a next gen, so I can't pursue my dream of being a professional Call of Duty player, sniping was only just a pickup side thing, uh, just to see how far I could get. And it's kind of still the reason why now, but it's not the main reason when I started. The main reason now is to do my best and get up in the ranks. It's not just let's see how far I can go it's full-on dedication now and Lundy has taught me so many things um, like still things about haters um, keep trying um, don't try so hard going for clips you know relax you know play it, it play the game to have fun not for clips and Lundy I hope you really do see this because uh, I am not sugarcoating this, I am not bullshitting. Lundy, you are the most influential person in my life when it came up to the gaming community. And if it wasn't for you, I don't think I've ever touched a sniper and tried to go for clips at all ever again. I would have just probably kept playing casual on PS3 um, until I got a PS4. And... Also, another thing, when it came up to my videos and how I record my videos, I told him I record with a phone, and he said, he said stuff basically what I would tell my haters, that it doesn't matter the quality, it's the quantity, meaning, I can record a phone even if it's in like 1080p, and it doesn't fit the screen perfectly, it might be tilted, it might be shaky, it might not get the voice quality that well. The point is, as long as I keep pulling out videos for the fans, for you guys, that's what matters. Now, it's basically in relation to what I told in the past. I would rather work with what I have than not work at all. And, yeah, <laughs> Lundy, thank you so much. Everyone else, Refrax, 
Barza, Trick Shots, Nate Shot, thank you so much. Um, especially Lundy, thank you all so much. Um, yeah, that, that's the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is Famous Gaming Content, full superiority of gameplay, and peace.